BTD6 is a game with lots of maps to choose from, and I'm pretty sure you must have a favourite map, don't you? Because uh, because with all the options, there are many maps you might want to choose from. But I'm going to show you here a tutorial for beginners to expert players. Just to what maps are the easiest and what maps I would recommend you doing. So for beginners, I recommend you only need to do like a few beginner maps to unlock the intermediate maps. But once you get on the intermediate maps, I don't recommend going back to beginner because intermediate they make you more money, and it's just it's just like it's not much much harder for more rewards. So personally, I think the best maps to start on if you're just a starter in the game and don't have many tier fives, don't much HP, is going to be Cracked, Streambed, Downstream, Cuts and Darts, or Spice Islands. My personal two, I'd recommend a Cracked and Streambed because Cracked is probably the longest map in Intermediate, and there is just lots of pla place to place down all your towers, and you can remove the obstacle with to place down water, which is your only problem. But it's easy to start off with, as you could simply just place down a few dart monkeys and then save up for your hero, and you'll just be generally fine. And it's a good place to just a nice starting off place to level up your power. I also recommend starting on medium or hard because even if you don't have that many tower towers, if you go medium hard and go into later rounds, don't do free play because you don't get much XP from it you will also get um, quite a lot of upgrades really quickly um, and stream beds also li it's like cracked it's slightly shorter but there's also a lot of place to place for your water towers if you're planning on upgrading those um, spice islands is only good if you have a lot of water towers but because then it's pretty easy and it's good for like getting boat xp if you have merchant man favor trades and the carts and darts and downstream uh, are the, my, the the next easiest maps after you do the first three I've recommended. For for the more, more intermediate players of you, I suppose, because there will be, if you like started to get some tier fives but don't have all the tier fives yet and still, and ha starting to have some knowledge in the game. Now the first map I immediately recommend is um, is um, cornfield because. Though it might seem quite a challenging map with all the corn, uh, I can show you a quick easy starting strategy which will always work and which you can just build up into your hero and just build up into a defence. Because it is a very long map considering it's advanced. So yeah look here is where you can place your first dart monkey, here is where you can place your second dart monkey. And there is another space up here but I recommend just placing the dart monkey in the middle. And this will do quite well against most rounds, so if we just send out like round 6 and just let this play. Just recommend I put putting this in last and keep it the first and they'll do just fine. So they'll serve for a while until you can build up your hero and then you can start building up more than that. And slowly start the new score. So quite an easy map. If you, if you want a full tutorial on it, I'm sure there'll be many on the internet and I can make one soon and the next and if you've if you've already done like most of cornfield before going to like improbable and chimps other maps I recommend are off the coast and another brick because off the coast is just a general nice map where it's lots of water space to put your water towers there's a lot of land space to put your land towers and it's a nice and it's nice and easy compared to some other map advanced map like Pat's Pond, High Finance and Geared Another brick, um, there's a lot of water space, there's a lot of land space and it's slightly harder than the rest but you should still be able to easily complete it even with a hero like Quincy. Also skins do not matter in the game. So let's just say you've now done most intermediate maps, most advanced maps now and you've unlocked all the expert maps. You've got all the tier 5s, you're starting to get paragons and you're very skilled at the game. Here are the maps I recommend you start doing on expert. Flooded Valley, Dark Castle is by far the easiest one and maybe a map like Infernal or Ouch. Those are the easiest ones by far and then you can start working onto the harder ones. So let's start off in Dark Castle. So look, here if we go on to just a classic Dark Castle game, just give myself a 650, because that's what we normally start off with, and give myself one life. And if I just get rid of this Dark Monkey, 
Look, all you need to do is place um, just a dart monkey, a monkey sub, and that should be enough to do most rounds like round four. I just place that down. I just play that. Then we can save up for like an upgrade like twin guns. Look, see, not that much leakage, and then you can work into your hero, get your hero down, and... Are you kidding me? Nothing gets past my bow! There are some strategies I would recommend, like, if you're using open, I could recommend using pop the spam, but generally, in the early game, what you want is just a druid of the jungle and some camera detection, and that should get you through general early game, with a few extra cows, like maybe a cluster bomb, and then for round 40 you can just get yourself like a deadly precision sniper and then just keep working on from there. So Dark Castle is the easiest of the expert maps. So you should know by now some general middle game, late game knowledge and stuff. Also, a quick tip for all of you all is to always do the advanced daily challenge because there will be plenty of tutorials about it because everyone always races to get the first advanced daily challenge thing out and they're quite easy to complete and they're only one rounders for quite a bit of monkey money. So yeah, after you view the castle, then I'd probably recommend doing Flooded Valley because as long as you have good water towers, you should be able to do it quite easily. Also, the, the, the I don't recommend doing the Odyssey, but the races, you can just have a try on the race. You don't have to get a super fast time to get some rewards. Uh, make sure you're in a contested territory and do something. Please join my contested territory because you always get a, a good amount of rewards in contested territories. And you can try out the boss for watching and...